The Motorhead deep dive starts today, boys and girls. Hmm. And uh, we have eight albums to get through today. Correct. So let's get this let's get this rig rolling. Motorhead's self-titled debut released August twelfth of nineteen seventy seven. Good day. It yep yes it, <laughs> well three year uh, four years earlier yep August twelfth is his birthday folks. Um, this album does not chart and is not certified in the United States. In Great Britain, it is. Our cast of characters. Filthy Animal Taylor on drums. Fast Eddie Clark on guitar and backing vocals. And our party host, the one, the only, Ian Fraser Kilmister, better known to you and me as Lemmy. Correct. Or God, whichever you prefer. <laughs> on bass, guitar, and vocals. Song starts off with... A lovely track called <laughs> Motorhead. <laughs> Good start to a song. Good start to introduce the band, introduce the album, introduce the whole thing. Yeah. Introduce the drugs. <laughs> well, I mean, that's what a Motorhead is. Let me, let me like. Let I me was like just speed. gonna say, if you want to talk about a song about speed? This is it. Staying yep. up for what? How many days straight? Six days straight? Oh Christ! And, and, and it starts with that signature "Let Me Bass" tone. Yeah, you know, um, fucking Marshall. Uh, a, a, a modded Marshall guitar head and a Rickenbacker. Lemmy's one of the reasons I dropped the money I did on that <laughs> fucking bass. Um, I'll show it before we before we mm. shut the videos off. Um, track number two. Even when Lemmy writes <laughs> sleaze, it's wonderful. A song called Vibrator. Yeah. And it is about what you think it is. <laughs> it's like pre Steel Panther stuff. Yes. Oh god. I don't know. I don't think it fits with everything else they've they've done. It's really This is this is out there, yeah. Like really, I love it. Like a though. joke it song. It is a it is a hilarious song. I do the, think the Steel Panther should cover it. That would be really good. Yeah. That would be Have you ever heard uh Steel Panthers cover speaking of Steel Panther covering things, have you ever heard their version of uh uh She's Tight by Cheap Trick? No. Oh yeah, and the video too. I have not. Yeah, check that out. It's really good. Okay. Um, track number three, "Lost Johnny." This this is a good song, but it was weird. It was a different version from one that I thought it was, and we'll get to that later. Yes. <laughs> um, Lemmy's voice is less gravelly on this one mm -hmm. than this... a lot of other stuff, and it's got I it's, I got a really cool off kilter vibe. I, I kind of I dig this song. This one I really, probably only one of the only ones on the album that I had a mad to, listening to it. Then I got to hear it again. <laughs> we'll get to that. Yeah. Yep. Iron Horse. Next is Iron Horse slash Born to Lose. This is a good song. Yeah. It's just rock and roll blues. Yes. It's yeah. Like a, it's like a blueprint. Yes. To how to write. Yeah. Uh, great groove to this song, you know. And that's going to be a recurring theme throughout this. These guys, Motorhead knows how to groove. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, good music to fuck to. <laughs> All right. Not the, not the vibrator, not, not the verb I was thinking of when. About... Dude, <laughs> Steven Tyler said it best, man. It's all about the twos and the fours. Well, yeah. Well, maybe. Okay. What? I have a point next song. <laughs> okay. Yes. White Line Fever. <laughs> good driving song. <laughs> which, is, which is also the name of Lemmy's autobiography, mind yeah. you. Really? Which, which I just got. I, uh. I uh I I finally I, I I did something nice for me. Uh huh. I bought myself a subscription to Audible. By the way, Spotify now has. Yeah, they have audiobooks. Yes, but Audible, there's more stuff available. Okay. It's it's I got it. I got an introductory month and two free books, uh -huh. and then every month it's fifteen bucks a month, and I get one free book to download plus what their free library is. Right. And one of the one of the first books I bought was White Line Fever. Oh bye. Yes. Hmm. Okay. I haven't listened to that one yet. I'm in the, I'm uh I'm actually in the middle of I just finished Fight Club by Chuck Palahniuk today. Mhm. Mm I just finished that one today. Do you know who narrates White Line Fever? I'm not it's not Len. 
Oh, I, I figured it wouldn't be Lemmy. That'd be... <laughs> <laughs> he would go off on tangents constantly. Oh, my God. I was just wondering if it was somebody... I don't... I, I could... I would... I'll have to look when, yeah. when we're right. done. All right. Yeah, White Line Fe- Fever. Great song. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, No, actually, uh, I gave that one a meh. And you know why? Hmm. The effect on Lemmy's voice. Hmm. Oh. I didn't dig that. Too much. Okay. Other than that, it would have been a yeah. Next, Keep Us on the Road. Fitting song. <laughs> Motorhead were road warriors. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a very catchy song. Look, really toe tap and rock too. Yeah. Yes. You can really you get I was you know, I know I saw my foot move into this one inadvertently and I had to say, Stop moving foot and it kept moving. Yeah, this is uh, I mean that uh, this is uh, this is just pure rock and roll. You Are you right? okay? I'm fine. <laughs> he made me giggle. <laughs> then I coughed. Track number eight, we have The Watcher. This was a meh for me as well. Yeah, it wasn't a meh, but it, it it had a very bar band feeling with the dual vocals. Yeah. Uh, very effect heavy. Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. What he did I write? read what he wrote. No, li- listening with headphones, you could really hear the mix with left and right. Oh, really? I, I, yeah, I listened to this whole thing with headphones. Oh, wow. And, and it has like a, a weird mix that like goes from left to right. Yeah. And you can hear isolated guitar parts in one ear, not the other. Listen to this song with headphones. It's really cool. Yeah. Um, uh, let me let me should start every Motorhead song with a fucking bass intro. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I, I, I'd be perfectly okay with that. Uh, the vocals were a bit thin on this one. Mm-hmm. Um, but once again, it's 1977. It is their first album, too. It's like... Right. And yeah. we, we, we didn't have... You know the production quality and the uh, money. The, oh yeah, they didn't that, have any money. Yeah, to it was record like, this record. So yeah, they, it, it's all it's very forgiven what they've done in this record. And the final track on the album is a cover. And this is what I told you when we were at Bills. I was in the other room and I I had this playing on Spotify through the the, the TV and I hear this fucking song come on. I'm like, hey, did it just okay? Is the album over? And I go in and look. Nope, this is still. Motorhead. Yep. Yeah, I. The I song, like Aerosmith versions better. This uh, the song is "Train Kept the yeah, Rolling." Yeah. yeah, I like Aerosmith versions better. I'm just. You see, I I said uh, uh, my notes are better than the Aerosmith version. Fuck you, Bill. <laughs> he, did, he probably does he, have that written down. He did down. write "Fuck You, Bill." Pro- the yes. See. No, but I'm I'm serious. It's, yeah. it's, I I I thought this was out of their wheelhouse. I really did. I can see that. I I, I see Aerosmith as more the band that should carry this torch. No. <sighs> well, I knew I was going to get that anyway. Well, so. yes. No, no, no. Stoke on Trent is greater than Boston. Fuck you. <sighs> so, so I don't know if it, you were doing this for every album. I rated like every album. On so did I. Yeah. So I, I gave this one a seven. Okay. Because I thought it was a really, I thought it was a solid start, but production being what it was. And yeah. I will agree with him. Seven. You, okay. Yes. I actually gave it an eight. Um, production hurt this record. Mm-hmm. But once again, if I'm grading on a curve, I probably... I'm Actually, I am grading on a curve, even yes. giving it an eight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's 1977. It's analog. We don't have Pro Tools. We don't have the things that we have today. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's Motorhead's... First official album, <laughs> but we'll get into that later. Yeah, mm-hmm. yes. All right, so that concludes Motorhead. <laughs>